Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. Guys, I am uh, on the road yet again, uh, traveling to go to work for a customer. And I was thinking about something driving down the road. You know, a lot of people, they're up in the air right now because of all these shootings and, um, you know, all the gun grab trying to go on. We got the craziness happening before the election because I've said it time and again. And please overlook the rain. It's coming a rainstorm. Uh, just having to think about this and terrible time, and I know because of the rain. Anyway, um, I hope you can hear me well. The election and all the stuff that's going on, you know, a lot of people's just like, I don't know if there's going to be another election and another sovereign, and I'm right there with you. I don't know if there's we're going to make it past election. I mean, I literally, the phone call I got the other day, if this guy goes through and pretty much got enough jobs to keep me good through the whole year, and we're only halfway through it right now or a little over. I mean, just people's worried to death about what's coming. And, uh, Anyway, though, in the mix of all that, you know, me, now, I always try to keep my mind focused on the spiritual things because, um, you know, that that's the things that really matter. And, sorry, let me get over here. And, um, you know, with that said, um, I seen this article the other day that Russia has passed these anti-terrorism laws, and as part of it, you cannot evangelize outside of organized church. So, so in other words, if you're not got the stamp of approval that you are an authorized um, worship facility, then you can't evangelize outside of it. Now, the best of my knowledge, this is to curb, um, you know, Islamic, um, you know, extremism and junk like that. But now, let me let me break this down for you real quick. Is that the reason that this captures my attention with all the other drama going on in the world and in our country right now is that, ladies and gentlemen, I have said for a long time, I've warned about re religious persecution coming. And what, what is what is scary about that is that I would equate that to exactly what Nero done back in the day with the exception of just taking you and throwing you into the lines in the uh, auditorium, the Colosseum there. That's the only thing that left to do at that point, because like Nero, you know, he persecuted the heck out of the church, um, the the assembly of believers in Messiah and Most High Yah. Whenever you know the the church first started getting assembled, of uh, you know, at that point you've got Gentiles converting and join in to um, uh, the family of the Most High, and then of course you've got Hebrew Israelite the blood descendants of Abraham. So you got both these parties, you know, you've got two parties at this point. You know, you've got the, the olive tree and those grafting in at this point. So you've got all walks of life being persecuted by the time Nero rolls around. And let, let, let me make sure to get that in there too, that that's some Edomites, you know, because Esau and Chittim blending. That's not all the white folk, just Rome. I have to make sure and get that in there for all those, you know, racist hateful Hebrew uh, Israelites and, and a couple weird people out there in the crowd, you know, because you just, you gotta let go of the fact that ain't only white folk uh, uh, Esau. Um, but now granted, I would say it's probably a good chunk of Romans Esau. I ain't arguing that a bit. So anyway, um, and you can kind of tell the spirit into people too, that you know, there's a lot of good folks that they ain't got that kind of spirit like Esau's got, especially the Romans. So anyway, yeah. Uh, let me hold my phone down here a second while we pass the police, you know. Um, but anyway, you really need to read that article um, because what was said in, you know, the things that's going on in Russia, the persecution right now, when that comes to America, equate that to saying, well, you have to go to the Roman Catholic Church or you have to go to the First United Methodist and blah, blah, blah. Um, you can't be having no evangelism outside of church. No, we don't acknowledge that you have a house church. and No, we don't acknowledge that two or three of y'all get together. Yins might be, you know, plotting some terrorist activity and stuff like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I can just see how, how crazy out of hand that'll get. And you might be like, well, why? Why, would, why does this really matter, you know? Wouldn't this be a good thing? No, it's not a good thing because Babylon is organized religion. Most of organized church, heck, even Christianity at this point, it's fallen. I mean, you know, I seen this thing today. Uh, me and my wife was getting something to eat real quick on the road, and um, I happened to glance down at Facebook, and I really ain't a fan of Facebook. And I seen this article on there. Uh, I'll try to drop a link to that too, where the, apparently a pastor and his wife have an open marriage. Okay, and the, uh, the the pastor over the main pastor over the assembly, which apparently is a large assembly. 
um, you know, they, he, he was totally applauding it. I'm like, are you an idiot? I'm like, adulterers ain't going to inherit the kingdom? I mean, like, that, that's right out of the book of Thessalonians. I mean, just wow. Anyway, and, it's, and it's, so that's why I'm getting at is the leadership in most organized church is corrupt. The, you know, the church doctrines, most of them are, are doctrines of men, all the doctrines the most high are. And so when you throw the government in the mix, because here in America we have the privileges of the 103 5C business or whatever it is, the tax exemption, you know, you can't go harping against Uncle Sam and everything because, you know, you might lose that wonderful tax status. Um, and any real church wouldn't be affiliated with the government because we're supposed to be in the world, not of it, you know. And that's a whole other topic for another time. But the the things that I've seen going down in Russia will probably be emulated, emulated here in America in the near future. And when they are, um, you know, just like the Seventh-day Adventist Church over there is just up in arms about it right now because they are one of the few that even though they are off base on quite a few things, they still have a drive for evangelism and, and, and getting back to the old paths, but they some things like they still want to keep their SAT day worship while at the same time preaching all these prophecies that come right off the Father's Creator's calendar. You can check out a link right up top there to find out more about the point of times of worship. But, you know, and it just... Um, and, and plus, you know, the warnings, like a lot of Seventh day Adventist church talk about the seven trumpets revelation and, and like all this end time prophecy and about America being Babylon. So, I mean, like you throw Uncle Sam in the mix at this point and you let that happen over here, man, you're going to have them shutting the SDAs up. You're going to have people, have them shutting people up like me because, I mean, like people now, I mean, they say terrible things about me because, like, I'm off by myself for the most part because, like, you know, it's hard for people like myself that is really hardcore about keeping a father's calendar and all these other things it's really hard to find a body of believers to assemble with and let alone um you know hold that together because you know you're so far scattered abroad and um and you know most of the church houses have put you out because of that because you won't follow you know their man-made doctrine so when that comes to america ladies and gentlemen i think that that would be to me a prime time that to know to uh, head for the hills and never look back. I mean, that, that's that's a definite warning sign to me right there because, man, the religious persecution that I can just see that boiling over now, it, that'd probably be a huge conversion tool for a lot, of pe uh, a lot of people to finally wake up because when you are banned from sharing your faith in a country where that is supposed to have religious freedom protected, not only that, separated from church and state, wow. And I just don't, I, and I'm sure it'll come to America. Dude, you, you get Hillary Clinton elected, anything's capable. Um, you know, religious extremism, because, I mean, she's a, she's a big Islam supporter. I mean, she's in bed with them, you know. So, the you know, radical Islam is something that is, is on the grow here in America like I've never seen before. I mean, it's, you know, it's huge. And um, I would not doubt for a minute... Um, you know, that if I was crooked, and I'll say this, and I guess I'll finish this video, and I hope it's helped you guys just to wake up, is that if I was the government and I was that crooked um, and sold out to Satan, you know, the number one thing you do is you create an enemy that's against, you know, the core thing that you actually are against. And by, therefore, you unstrengthen the thing that you're against by using another means to do so, and then you just destroy them both. And so, like, you know... If anybody does their due diligence and research, and the Roman Catholic Church actually helped create Islam. And Islam has become a radical religion. There is no moderate Islamic. There is just, like, extremist. I mean, like, I've, I, I, matter of fact, I'll try to find a video link and put it down there where that also I've seen these, uh, this, this, this guy was up talking, you know, and he's like, laundry list and all these things. It was at a Muslim meeting, and they had, uh, they had, like, you know, multiple Islamic leaders sitting there and um, they're talking about all these things and they're like you know is, is anybody here you know we all attend separate mosques and they're like is anybody here think this is you know that we should burn homosexuals and like kill them in the most cruelest manner uh, blah 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 and you know it bring glory to well I'm not going to say their deity's name but anyway you know if you anybody have a brain out there you know anything about Islam you know that without me even saying it and so like you know, they're going down through there, and everybody's raising their hand. They're like, yeah, I agree, I agree, blah, blah, you know? And I'm like, 
this is like a almost uh, you know 500 people packed in a room and this guy's up speaking and saying all this and I'm like this this is what I'm saying there's no such thing as radical Islam there's just Islam okay and right here in America you know it was white folk um, uh, you know there was uh, so-called black man I mean there was you know Middle Eastern people I mean there's everybody in that mix there okay and so it's it's not just a color thing too you know I mean there's probably some Asian people in that room it's all walks of life so it you know you create an opening for Islam to come into America and then you say well this is a threat we've got to stop you know this commulgating in the streets how do we do this Well, we just ban you know this crap going on out in the streets and so you shut down these street preachers you shut down Islam you shut down everybody you shut down even talking to your neighbor about it because you know they got this see something say something and your neighbor's like yeah he was telling me about something but I don't know it seemed like some sketchy religion he might be some extremist and the next thing you know the cops are knocking on your door to arrest you just like that one cop was telling people he was going to come right back and arrest them because he knew they have home church in Russia now and he was going to finally get to smoke them. so persecution's definitely on its way and um, you know that right there was a big wake up to me the other day that happened in Russia it's not here in America yet but it's definitely a model for what, what can go down and you know an extremist tyrannical government and um, yeah with, with Islam growing in America the way it is right now wouldn't, wouldn't put it past our politicians at all you know remember ladies and gentlemen fear breeds all sorts of crazy laws and you know it gets people to give up freedoms in the way that gun violence and all this stuff's going on right now you know I mean the last thing I'll say and I'm gonna cut this video out is if you've seen that that deal in I think it was Nice France or whatever the other day that vehicle is like apparently supposed to plow out over ever so many people there is like a picture that somebody shared on Facebook it was just priceless it had like one deer and it was like the whole front end was smashed in on this tractor trailer and I used to work um, for my corporate, uh, you know, a corporate job I used to work for, it was uh, over the road equipment. I was in that job for many, many years. I've seen trucks trashed from, you know, hit things, and usually one one thing hitting it like a deer, or I hate to say it, a person, it'll trash up a big over the road truck. Just one, okay, just one. So, you know, they had this picture also. It had like a, a car plowing a deer over. Just eat that car, just the flip up, just, you know. And then they had this truck, not a stitch of blood on it, and it plowed over like multitudes of people. Come on, false flag. And it's only gonna keep going on. So, you know, in short, in summary, if you read that article that I read the other day about Russia, right there in the video description below, and you look at that, and then you look at the other link I put in the video description below that you got these pastors and all these, you know, people that's at the very top of the church, they're corrupt, the church is corrupt, and so, you know, you have a government telling you the only place you can go is the corrupt institution. You can't, you can't step outside of Babylon anymore. Really quickly, when you step outside that realm and look at that, you know, they've created this enemy and opened the doors to Islam to come into our country to kill true believers, the Most High Yah, it really starts to culminate real quick in your mind that, yes, I do live in the second beast of Revelation, and this is Babylon, New Babylon, and that, you know, we're at the very end times prophecy because, you know, it says you'll be beheaded for the witness of, of you know, Messiah. And, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if anybody's ignorant to the fact, but Islam's all for beheading people. So, you know, that the enemy is at the gates, all right? And, and if you ever seen that movie, that was about Russia and Stalingrad. So, there you go. A little throwback to Russia there. Enemy is at the gates. Oh, it is here in America, too. So, guys, I hope that's a wake-up to you, too. We'll see you again here at 7 Trumpets Prepper Channel. I'm going to bolt down some solar panels, and I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.